Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you something different. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial or a tip, as it were, to, that you can do using Download Station on a Synology NAS. There can be any NAS from a one bay all the way up to one of their big enterprise units. If you've never heard of Synology, it's a company worth checking out. If you've never heard of NAS before, that stands for Network Attached Storage. And before we go any further, I'd recommend taking a look at this review of a DS1815 by Barnacles, who is a, another tech channel on YouTube. Now, the tip I want to show you is a quick way of downloading YouTube videos down to your central storage, your network attached storage, that would be. And to do this, you will need, obviously, first of all, your own NAS, and you will need access to Download Station, which is one of the free applications available in their package center. Now, once you've got that, this tip will allow you to download loads and loads and loads of different videos from YouTube at a click of a button, as long as they're in a playlist. That's the key component there, as long as they're in a playlist. Now, what I'll be showing you is basically one of my own playlists that I've set up from my own channel. So we are just going to choose, let's say, Photoshop tutorials for this one. Now, it's as simple as literally copying the link from the playlist, logging into your Synology disk station, whether that's remotely or in your home network, and then just create a new task via L or URL if you prefer that, but I prefer to call it L. Paste in the link, but the key component here is make sure you've got this option here ticked, which is show dialog to select files for download, because you might not want to download all of the, the non-copyright music or the tech tutorials from this playlist for personal use only, of course. Now, once you've hit OK, it will give you a little prompt here, and I'm going to say I want the first four files. So I'm just going to click on create and this will create four individual tasks in download station to go and grab each one of those videos from YouTube and download it. Now for me personally, this is a great method because it allows me to quickly back up the finalized videos that I've uploaded onto YouTube at a touch of a button. And it's also because I add everything into playlists. So this actually is a kind of a win-win situation for myself personally. I don't use it to grab other videos, it's purely just for backup for myself. You may wish to do this, or you may wish to do something else, but that's not what this video is for. So now that the videos are all downloaded from the playlist to my NAS, that basically means that anything within the local network can actually access this. So this could be my laptop, my iPad, my mobile phone, but I've also set up remote access so I can access this anywhere in the world as long as I've got mobile data. So I set my default download location to be my downloads folder and because this was actually already in a playlist, the playlist was entitled Photoshop Tutorials. So if I quickly go into File Station, which is a bit like uh, Windows Explorer basically or Finder on the Mac, you'll see that I've already got a folder here called Photoshop Tutorials. I double click into it and here I've got the four videos that I wanted to download from the playlist. And the other great thing about a NAS is it has an inbuilt player, so if I right click on it and hit play, it'll open up another tab in my browser and straight away it'll start loading up the video. And that's it guys, that's really all that is to it. So it's that simple, of course you will need a Synology NAS to do it, but I'll be doing a few more tutorial tips on what you can, that can do with a NAS for media wise, because you can use it to store your TV shows, your DVDs that you've accumulated over years, you can use it for downloads, you can use it for literally sharing it, you can use it as a file server, you can host your own game servers, you can do everything with it. Is it if there's anything specific that you would like me to show you guys, just drop a comment below and let me know. But until next time, thanks for watching.